Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a, a Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and as well Libra Rising Montetar reading for August uh, 2019, guys. And uh, bear with me a second to shuffle the tarot cards and we are to jump uh, straight away into the reading. So let's see what we got here. The first card, which stands for the topic of the Libras month, we do have the Nine of Pentacles, a very promising card for the topic itself, followed by the peripheral activities that you can go for throughout the month. This is to be the Nine of Wands. Peripheral activities, I mean things that you can choose either to go for or to completely neglect. It's, it's, it will not have any major repercussions whatsoever. The third card stands for the challenges that you need to overcome here. This is going to be the Two of Pentacles, followed by the fourth card, which stands for the positive aspect of the month. This is to be the uh, Ace of Swords. And then the last one, which regards to the guidance the Tarot is offering to you guys, it seems is going to be the Five of Wands. So, um, a crazy month, really. It's, it looks like that you are to be very active uh, throughout the month and not because you are to face any major issues whatsoever, but it's going to be an, an activity and it's like a... Um, uh, a dynamic where you find the most efficient way, you know, to execute your plans one way or another, either regarding career or either regarding relationship. But before we go to that and uh, scrutinize the reading, let's run the cards one more time. The first one, which is the topic, is going to be the Nine of Pentacles, followed by the second one, which is the peripheral activities here, that is to be the Nine of um, Wands. Followed by the third one, which stands for the Two of Pentacles, which is the challenges that you need to overcome. Afterwards, we do have the Ace of Swords, that is going to be the um, positive aspect of the month. And the final one, it is the Five of Pentacles, which stands for the uh, guidance. By the way, the clutter that you heard just right now, it's my air conditioner. And... Um, yeah, it, it does this occasionally, so I do apologize for that. But anyway, going for the topic itself, we do have the Nine of Pentacles. So this is a, a very positive card. It does refer to, it's like, you know, the fortune is going to have your back and whatever you attend to, it's simply you will be able to make it work. You will be able to manage it. The Nine of Pentacles urges you to jump into career endeavors. It urges you, you know, if you, especially if you are single, to go out and start, you know, empathizing with other people, start to associating your yourself with other people because when the nine of pentacles stands as a topic it's very likely that you are to find the person that is very compatible for you i'm not saying the one that you're going to spend your lifetime together all right but someone who is extremely compatible with you that is in case you are single but it, it does point the nine of pentacles that does give this um fallout 
uh, throughout the months, the, it seems that everything is going to happen with ease. You know, you are trying to uh, be successful into this project of yours or to execute that plan of yours. That will happen with ease with not much of a um, issues along the way. And the only problem that you are to face is how you are going to be more efficient, all right? How you are to achieve more with less input in it, either regarding career or either regarding relationship. The accompanied card here is going to be the sun and the formation, it is a, a passive neutrals. So as a neutral card to the nine of pentacles, it seems that a lot of uh, a lot of your original, it's not like ideas, but let's say strategies are going to take a different turn. Not because, like I said, something unexpected is going to happen, but because suddenly you are to understand that there is a, a more efficient way how you can execute this project, how you can deal with the tasks into your career, or how you can make up into your relationship as well. So for, for what it seems, um, how do I place it here? So for what it seems, you are to redirect, you know, uh, your aim or rather like your strategy for a favor of a, a more, um, like I said, efficient way instead of the way that you thought it has a natural unfoldment. It does, all right? But in the same time, you can take a shortcut. So yeah, that, that is what I'm talking about. You definitely are going to find some shortcuts how to become either more successful or happier. It does depend where those cards are manifesting for you. So the second one, which is the peripheral activities here, we do have the nine of wands, not a major card in this position, to be honest. To me, what does refer, it's some rearrangements into one's routine. It's like renovating your home, you know, changing your schedule as well in a, in a way that it is more comfortable for you. Uh, either regarding career or relationship as well, or for for anything that comes into into your life, so it's it could be that uh, you are to transform, you know, your responsibilities and your duties as well. Let's say that you do have a child, you know, or, or uh, you do have an obligation toward a friend or toward your family as well. Well, with these cards, as a, with this card as a peripheral activities, you can rearrange those obligations in the way that it is going to be more comfortable. Uh, for you. The accompanied card here is going to be the um, temperance card. So the formation, it is a, a active supporters. And it, it, throughout those conscious changes that you are to incorporate into your, uh, into your life, should you have the eager and the determination to do so, it looks like that you are to obtain a, a very balanced approach toward everything that is happening around you. So uh, even if you are facing some really difficult situations to overcome, it is likely that with these couple of cards, you just should you start making your rearrangements there um, the whole process is going to take it more easy on you than, uh, than usual. And, uh, simply the chores will become much more enjoyable for you to attend to. So that leads us to the third card, which speaks for the challenges that you need to overcome here. And that is the two of pentacles. So we talked about in an efficient way, right? which speaks that your current understanding of how you are to face the month of August, it's not as efficient as it can be. So the challenge here is going to be for you to let go of already established concepts, you know, already established strategies, already established plans, let's say that way, and just try to work out the new circumstances that are appearing, which you are to fit into your current strategy, making it completely different kind of strategy, which is what we said, more efficient. So in other words, guys, the challenge is go for you is going to be playful throughout the month of August. The accompanied card here is going to be the 10 of Pentacles formation. It's another supportive um, combination, which is a passive supporters in this, um, in this particular case. So <clears throat> what these cards speaks here, it is that all this um, readaptation to the, uh, to the circumstances, either into your career or either into your relationship as well, is going to grant you more personal independence. Okay. It's going to grant you more sovereignty. And in the same time, they are to contribute for your comfortable experience, either career wise or either relationship wise as well, but you don't have to be stubborn, all right? Just 
but I don't know how to express it and what kind of an example to give you, all right? But there are, but, but, but the way I see it is that they're gonna be changing the circumstances, not a major one, all right? Throughout the months, in many, in many fields, into your career, into your relationship. And at that point, um, <clears throat> if you are like me, for example, a person who moves along according to a certain plan, all right? Well, I would take them as a um, as an obstacle, as a plight, as something that I did not see and now I have to adapt to it. But people who are more agile, people who are more um, adaptable to the situation, they're going to see it as an opportunity, you know, to reshape and benefit even more from the situation. And this is how you need to accept those changes of the circumstances, which are not going to be a, a grand changes, all right? Uh, it's going to be something that it will either serve you as a... Um, as a boost or as a delay, it does depend how you take a look on it. And then the next card here, uh, Libra, is going to be the positive aspect for you. We do have the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords tells us a couple of things in this follow-up. First of all, it tells us that you do have the what it takes to improve your circumstances. You do have what it it, what it is needed, you know, to be successful career-wise and to be happy into one relationship. That is for the fact that you are to uh, have that really strong spirit and as well the mental clarity to, uh, uh, how, how can I place it, to see the reality of the situation, for what the situation is in, uh, in Rio and therefore to either realize that there is no turning back, you know, and or either realizing that there is only one way how you can approach it, and that is the most efficient way how you can approach it. But the thing with the Ace of uh, Swords is when, um, especially in a positive, uh, in a positive aspect, it is like when um, one recognizes the um, the necessity of action at the current time or at the current place in regards to the task or in regards to their uh, to their relationship and recognizing that if not spoken or if not act upon these circumstances one only is going to lose which circumstances as we saw you know are those unpredictable ones that appear in the two of pentacles the so-called challenges but in this uh, in this case those challenges could traverse into a, a very positive aspect the accompanied card here is going to be the ten of swords so that uh, that is a another supportive um, supportive a, a combination here we do have active supporters and with the ten of swords we're definitely talking about provoking a brand brand new era in your life based on these circumstances so uh Thanks to your uh, mental strength and the strength of your spirit, recognizing that throughout the month of August, you need to do and make your move in regards to those new circumstances, which are going to allow you to leap into career endeavors, to reach the one who is most compatible for you at the time being. Like I said, that will provoke a, a new era in your life. And as a positive aspect of these couple of cards, additionally to that, once you initiate it, there is nothing that can take it away from you unless you decide to deprive yourself from it. And the final card, which is the guidance here, we do have the five of uh, wands. Well, the five of wands gives a little bit of a different shade. Uh, into the reading. First of all, it does says that uh, it's going to be very dynamic, uh, dynamic month for you. There are going to be things coming in your way from all sides, you know, of the spectrum. And for that reason, uh, you should be open to um, deliberate on and also try, for that matter, all of those pleasant surprises which are coming in your way. So all of these surprises are going to be pleasant unless you not see them as a um, obstacle or a plight which comes from here and not from the circumstances themselves. Additionally to that, the five of four ones, it is the best card where one could transform failure into success, meaning that as a guidance, there are definitely a situations in your life which you can mend, all right, either career or either relationship, you name it. 
And uh, finally, the uh, Five of Wands here urges you not to be stubborn as well. I mean, there are more than one ways how one can achieve something. And at some point, being more, it's not even surreptitious, but let's say clever, it's much better way to uh, grasp upon your goal rather than trying to do it with a brute force. The accompanied card here is another five. We do have the Five of Cups formation active enemies it is that we do have so we definitely are having a lift up of one spirit where one denies failure where one refuses to believe that um <clears throat> something cannot be done and cannot be achieved. And especially as we said at the start of the reading that the fortune itself is going to help you throughout the week. Well, definitely this week for you Libra, it seems that it is a, uh, not week, but a month, excuse me, definitely this month of August, it is where you are destined for a great stuff. And the only thing that can deprive you from that is if you are lazy to do so, if you don't have the imagination to place great goals in front of yourself, or if you are stubborn, no, stubborn and you do not adapt to the circumstances. So that being said, guys, this was your monthly tarot reading for August 2019. And I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.